Okay, hello guys and welcome back to Eddie Station channel. Today's video, I'll show you how to install PyCharm IDE as we did in the previous video, but with three different ways. Now let's get started and simply open your browser and type PyCharm, then hit enter. As you can see, hit the official website, JetBrain, click on that and it will be opened. Then go to the download section and choose the community edition which is the free version, but I told you before, it will be more than enough for now. And for that course that I just first cover the fundamentals in more details, now wait until it's being downloaded and then go to the download folder and simply right click and select open terminal here. Then decompress the file by typing the tar command as we have did in the previous videos. Then specify the options as we have discussed also in the last video of installing Python. Uh, and we explain each option in some detail. Okay, and those options are dash XVF, then type the full name of the file to be extracted with the extension itself, which is .tor.gz at this case, then hit enter. As you can see, it's now being extracted and after it's done, then here the extraction folder with the same name. Simply open it, then open your terminal here. And at this step, we will initiate the installation process by executing the pycharm.sh file by simply typing dot forward slash pycharm.sh or we could type the sh command, then space and the, uh, the uh, name of the file, which is pycharm.sh. And this actually will initiate the installation process. Now choose, uh, do not import settings, and click OK. Now it will open, uh, then go to, uh, go to the uh, setting icon at the bottom left, and simply click Create Desktop Entry. Then click on Start Tour here. As you can see, the IDE is opened, and here the demo for the program but we will close the program and open it again and then choose like that. Okay, then choose new project. Here you can change the name of the project and also uh, you can specify the type of the Python interpreter. Choose the recent one, which is 3.9 for now. And here's also the location of your project. You can change it or leave it as it is. Now simply click on create. And now it's fully started. And here, as you can see, the demo main program. I'll erase all of the code and simply try to type print and open to parentheses and the double quotations and type area station. Then click run from three different uh, locations or by three different ways. It's up to you, you can choose any one of them. It's so easy. We, the first one from the above menu bar and choose run or simply click on the uh, icon here or you can right click here at the text editor field and choose run and also you could specify or uh, use the key shortcut okay for that uh, for that command whatever you want as I told you and as you can see here is our output I think we're done for the first method Let's mention the two others in a quick manner. Okay, the second way is to download the toolbox from the JetBrain website like that. Go to the JetBrain website and look for the toolbox. Then click on it and choose the suitable extension for Linux, which is .tar.jz and hit download. Then go to the download folder, unzip this file uh, simply like that or using the terminal, it's up to you. Then open the folder and this is actually our installing or installation file, but it needs to take the permission to be executed whether using the terminal and open it here in that folder like that and type chmod, stands for changing the mode of the file, then a space, then plus x and x here that we are going to denote this file, the uh, execution permission, okay? Then we'll type the file uh, name, 
okay then hit enter or you can go and right click and go to the properties then permissions tab then check that box here and close uh, then simply it becomes an executable file okay and now you can right click and, and click on execute so the application will be opened and you can choose and download and install directly from here any products related to JetBrain company whether it's an IDE or a tool okay now let's move on to the third method of installing it from the terminal simply we'll open the terminal and type sudo snap install pycharm dash community and space and we'll specify those tags uh, which is or those flags sorry uh, we'll type dash dash classic and uh, also dash dash edge okay uh, or space dash dash edge like that and hit enter and it will be installed silently from the terminal and i think we're done yeah and that's it for that video now we will start our journey and get our hands dirty with the code and learn more about python at the upcoming videos be or stay tuned okay goodbye